this is Dr. Himanshu Pruthi, senior resident from Department of PJM at Chandigarh. I thank Sonobus to present uh, to let me present my work as oral scientific presentation at uh, the conference 2023. <clears throat> the topic of my presentation is cervical sign. So, can it be a new ancillary sonographic pattern for early depiction of GB neck malignancies? As we know, we all know that GB malignancy is one of the very common, uh, aggressive and commonly found malignancy, most common type among, especially in India. And it carries a very poor prognosis. And its early diagnosis will always help in improving of uh, survival. The other two types, like mass forming polypoidal types, are easily diagnosed with avoidable imaging, imaging malignancies. So, we are mainly concentrated on GB wall thickening type of GB carcinoma, which poses a challenge. Even having a multi-modality approach, like we have a CCT where can, CT scan, the uh, data has been described as multi-layered uh, enhancement in, uh, as by Kim et al. And on MRI also, there is better depiction of the GB gallstones and uh, the invasion of the GB uh, thickening, GB wall thickening into the adjacent uh, liver parenchyma. And <clears throat> as the primary screening tool for ultrasound is one of the most important part and it is easily it can be easily confused and missed with as acute cholecystitis from the gb malignancy especially in the neck region so there are certain recent advances also like speckle imaging speckle reduction and harmonic imaging high frequency transducers also there even after so much of that <coughs> uh, there is a <coughs> very much difficulty in diagnosis of uh, GV neck cancer and GV wall thickening. So we have a diagnostic performance of a sign which we are giving it name as a cervix sign which is uh, defined as one of the on longitudinal ultrasound when we are seeing a symmetrical or asymmetric neural thickening at neck region with a central interface or you can say a small lumen which may be fluid filled or collapsed in an otherwise distended GV which may be mimicking as which mimic as cervix. So this cervix sign, and we, we are seeing cases of malignant as a benign GB wall thickening at neck region and then describing the cervix sign and seeing its efficacy. So <clears throat> it is a single base sign. It is one year, four months between August 2020 to December 21 at PJM at Chandigarh department. And we are thinking patients who had GB malignancy for analysis in this group and the diagnosis for the malignant cases were histopathological whereas for the benign cases it was either their uh, lack of progression on six month follow-up or there was histopathological diagnosis inclusion criteria the patients who are uh, the adult patients who are having jv wall thickening and uh, which are suspicious for jv carcinoma on ultrasound and exclusion criteria is the pediatric uh, age less than 60 18 years jv mass or metastatic diseases or other diseases which is having a GB, which makes the GB uh, unvaluable, like having gallbladder contracted or gallbladder calculi with posterior caustic shadowing, obscuring the details of the neck region, or oligo shadow complex, bowel gases obscuring the disease. So the study contained of 228 cases of GB wall thickening, and our neck cohort came out to be 75 out of the 10 excluded due to contracted and impacted stones, with 65 as final count for GB wall thickening. So there was a retrospective analysis of cervix sign and the, after the retrospective, we see a diagnostic performance of this sign between benign and malignant cases. So ultrasound were independently reviewed for cervix sign by two radiologists of two and four years of uh, experiences. And there are, it was done on logic acid scanner and morphological features were also studied associated with uh, like liver pancam involvement. Uh, layered appearance of gallbladder, intramural hyperbaric thickening. The cutoff for the thickening was taken as to be more than 3 mm. So the division of malignant GB was uh, divided into two groups with the cervix sign and without cervix sign. And various stat analysis were put in that, including the SPSS uh, stat analysis and inter-observer agreement for cervix sign was calculated using Cohen's Kappa stats. So p-value less than 0 0.05 was taken as significant. And uh, the T tests and chi square or Fisher exact tests were taken. So the results are as follows. So the mean age was 55 years, and there was no difference between the age or the gender between the benign and malignant. Students. The cervix sign was taken two thirds of the patient in the malignant cases, whereas only one in the benign cases. And out of these uh, cases, 18 cases, what we have found, the 17 malignant and one benign. 
what we have found that there was mean GB wall thickening was uh, either uh, wall thickening and symmetrical thickening were more common in GBCA with sonographic cervix sign than without cervix sign. However, the difference was not statistically significant. So these are the age and gender uh, demography and where we are, these are the findings, characteristic, different characteristic. And in this, I want to highlight just about the asymmetric wall thickening and symmetric wall thickening are more common in group A. That is with the cervix sign. And these are the signs. This is the group which is mostly malignant. So this shows the importance of having uh, more, as obviously there will be more malignancy has more progression and there will be more constriction at the neck region, causing these uh, uh, signs more easily depictable on ultrasound. So this is a known cervix sign. And uh, this is the known cervix sign. And you can see that uh, this is a known cervix sign of pyloric hypertrophy as described earlier where we are having a, a thickening at the pyloric region which is mimicking like cervix so here we are proposing it that a neck gv neck malignancy which is may mimic as a, which mimic as cervix sign with distended lumen in between that uh, distended uh, lumen and uh, central lumen which may be fluid filled like in this case or which may be effaced like in this case. This is effaced and here also you can see that the thickening at the neck region will be is mimicking as GB neck carcinoma. So again in this we can see the central lumen, the black dot is effaced and there is a thickening uh, at the GB neck region. Now the importance of this is cervix sign may be, it may be useful and silly sign for malignant thickening. Because now we see that on ultrasound when we see our, we are, we, there is a uh, normal statement that uh, once we are seeing a distended GB, always suspect a GB neck calculi. That is one of the things. So similarly, once we are seeing a distended GB and thickening a GB neck region, we have to suspect a, a malignancy. And uh, that is why we are having a mindset of thinking in terms of GB cervix sign and uh, this can be uh, more prospective studies have to be taken uh, for its role to be uh, diagnosis of early diagnosis of GB cancer. These are my references and I thank you very much for that uh, uh, giving me opportunity. Thank you.